right there guys, what's going on? Welcome to the World Cup Guide in FIFA 18. Now you're probably wondering, what is the World Cup Guide? Well, One Football have kindly enough sponsored today's video and they sponsored a channel not so long ago, which was awesome. And as the World Cup itself is edging closer, we're gonna celebrate it. So there are eight YouTubers taking part in the World Cup Guide. 32 videos will be made and there is gonna be one group assigned to each YouTuber. So we have Group C. Who's in Group C? France, Denmark, Australia, and Peru. And I will be making each video specific for that team. And we're going to have four videos on the channel. There will be a link in the description to the playlist that you can follow the World Cup guide. And there is also a link to download the One Football app. So I'd really do appreciate if you guys check it out. Drop a like on today's video. And we're going to start off with Denmark. What players will step up? For their national side let's go and find out so Denmark did qualify for the World Cup after beating Ireland in the playoffs and their team was looking something like this I made a change and that was to bring in Jensen just because it's the team of the season card and I wanted to test him out to see what he could do on FIFA 18 but what formation are they gonna rock up with because I was building this team on stream and some of you were advising that they could even switch into a 4-2-3-1 but for today's video we're gonna use the 4-3-3 just to get in all of the really good players. You have Jurgensen as the striker. Will this guy start for Denmark? This season, he's bagged himself 10 goals. I know he plays in the air Eredivisie. You don't want to pay too much attention to stats. Look what happened to De Jong. Came over to Newcastle, very poor season. Went back to the air Eredivisie and got a team of the season. That's just the way it is. But Jurgensen, he's bringing the height. He's a target man. Looks like he has an eye for goal. So maybe he will start over the likes of Nicholas Bedner or... Even Paulson, if he gets brought into the central position. But Bedner, would you drop him? You know what he's done for the Denmark team in the past. I don't know. It's a little bit risky. In the midfield, Eriksen, their best player. If Eriksen plays well, then most likely the Denmark team are going to tick and play well. I'm going to back this guy to have a good World Cup. And that's why I'm saying that Denmark are going to get out of the groups. Because if you have a look at Group C, France, Denmark, Australia, Peru. Surely Denmark are going to be able to get the wins over Australia and Peru. Who knows though? And that's the beauty of the World Cup. And another player that I wanted to highlight, which is Jensen. Uh, to my understanding, he didn't actually play against Ireland. But this guy's had a very good season. Something like 12 goals, 8 assists. So if he does get brought on off the bench, keep an eye out for him. I don't know too much about the guy, but he must be good. So keep an eye out. And in the defense, it could be all over the place. You've got Chris Jensen that might even just play as an actual center back, but he is... Um, uh, well, he's been pushed out wide for this team. Uh, I don't really know too much about um, the Danish players, but Schmeichel in goal is pretty good. But is he actually good on the game? We've got to go and find out. If Schmeichel plays anything like he did on FIFA 18 for Denmark in the World Cup, they ain't getting out of the groups. He is straight trash. The guy cannot save a thing. And it could be the fact that I'm coming up against a ton of team of the seasons now with incredible finishing, but he struggles to get a hand to most of the shots. Not recommended. Is not a game changer. He's not an end game player. In the defense, terrible. Far too slow for FIFA 18. It wasn't until we move up to the midfield, that's when it started to tick. You've got Jensen, that this guy, you get that feeling of he's going to score a straight banger. You don't know when it's coming, you don't know what shot, but he has that potential to feel 99 long shots, 94 shot power, something like that. And he literally packs a punch. When he hits it, they stay here. And I'm not talking about taking a long shot just on the edge of the box, way back. Just let it fly, and he's going to be able to score some screamers for you. And he did a couple of goals that, that were nice. His tracking back ability was all good. He felt decent on the ball, his pace was fine. And I thought he was all right for 45, 50,000 coins that I bought him for. And that could be a very nice future investment for these team of the season SBCs that get released. But it was all about Christian Eriksen. My good God, he actually took control. And that's what I think that's going to happen in the World Cup anyway. The ability on the ball, just going from like Jurgensen, that I played it up to him. You had a few of the other cards in the side. This Eriksen is just miles better and of course he is he's a 95 rated team of the season on this game his finishing is unbelievable with both feet he feels just insane on the ball i really like that and one thing that i was feeling from the card having used him in the weekend league as well as this team 
it is his playmaking, his passing, the, the, the positioning as well, the way he's linking up with other players. I really like him on the game. And for 450, 500k, I think it is actually a very good price. I'm just trying to get used to those finesse shots and just channel them so I can be consistent every single game. I was trying to get uh, Jurgensen into the play and maybe in real life he's going to be sick, but on this game, he's a lump. He can't move and it was an absolute struggle. One of the shots actually that I took on with him was just sheer power. Outside the box, launched it. Uh, Begovic got a hand to the to the shot, but it was too much for him, and he pushed it pushed it in the back of the net. But Jorgensen, yeah, he scored a couple of goals in this team. But overall, what was I feeling from the side? Uh, awful. Uh, in the 4-3-3, didn't really get much going. If it wasn't for Eriksson and a little bit of Jensen, this team would have straight up failed. So is it going to fail in the World Cup? What I want you guys to do, let me know in the comments section. Are Denmark getting out of the groups? Where do you think they're going to finish? Do they have the team to win the World Cup? I don't think so, but are they going to get out of the groups? Let me know. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for part two uh, when it comes around. So keep an eye out on the channel. Take it easy. Team out. Peace.